Right, yeah, guys. Um, we're going to have a crack at uh, uh, tapping our thread into this uh, hole. I'll bring you right down here, so you can see this uh, journal oil gallery hole down here. We're going to put a five sixteenth uh, grub screw in it. So I'm going to tap a hole in it. And And uh, I've got this uh, 5 16th grub screw that I'm going to put in there. But uh, I'll tap the hole, make sure it goes in. And then I'm going to drill a 1.5mm hole in the centre of it for a little bit of a bleed off. So I'll, um, I'll just get some lubrication. Just get you right up there today. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. So it goes in on a bit of an angle, so I'm hoping that the hole will be big enough to tap and I don't have to drill it out. Uh, it looks like I might have to stick a drill in it, it might be a bit small. No, no, I think it's starting. Yeah, no, yeah, it's going. When doing this job, always keep your lubrication up on your tap. And we don't want to go right through the, the whole lot. We just want to go down a few threads Give it something to bite on, and then it's a tapered tap, so it'll 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 taper down. So when you screw your your uh, little bung that you're making, your grub screw in, it'll screw down and sort of start to run out of thread. I'm going to lock tight it in anyway, but then it'll tighten down on the thread itself. So uh, it can't go all the way through. See what that looks like. Pull that out. So we also got to be mindful. Where's me? Great. Also got to be mindful. We can't have the, the it sticking up too high. And blocking off that oil gallery. Yeah, that looks alright. I'm gonna dummy test it. Alright, I'll keep knocking this out and I'll show you the finished product. Right, if we can zoom right in, 
where is my that's the top one there it is down there and i've i just ground the uh i'll pull it out in a second but i've got to drill a hole in it i ground the grub screw back so it went down nearly to flush so we've got plenty of oil that'll go past it and oil the uh, cam bearing uh, let's pull it out and i'll show you so all i've done is i just um so i just ground it down made it a little bit shorter so uh, it goes flush so now i'm going to drill my 1.5 mil hole in it and we can put some loctite on it and put it in okay just uh use the 1.5 mil drill to drill the hole in it let's see if you can see that that's as big as it is not a very big hole just enough to let it bleed off a bit and we'll Loctite him in, see what she okay, looks like. just using uh, 263 Loctite. It probably doesn't really need to be Loctited in, but you know what? I've got it there, I might as well. Because once it's in, it can't go down any further. And once you put the cam bearing in, it can't come out. Okay, And we are done. Take it out of here. So there it is. Uh, I don't know if you can see the hole in it. So that's it. That's done and dusted. So all our oil gallery modifications are complete. Uh, everything I, I wanted to do to it to make it um, make the oiling system better so we've done our uh, annulus around here so oil comes in from the oil pump straight down this oil gallery comes out here cross to this one and feeds that oil passage down to there oh sorry I do have one more I want to pull that out and tap a thread in there and put a grub screw in there to block that off as well and that'll just give us more oil pressure and uh, by doing this mod we get more volume and oil to the mains uh, which just makes it a little bit better a little bit more stronger or if you want to call it but we've got some really good oil going everywhere and don't have any issues alrighty okay so we pulled that I'll show you what it is that's it there you can see the size of the hole in it. It's a fucking fairly big hole. So that was in there. I just grabbed some multi grips and ripped that out. And I just locked, uh, tapped the thread in it and tapped the grub screw in it. And that fixes that problem. Alrighty. All right. We got another box and brothers told me I had to do an unboxing. I nearly freaked it up. Right, oh, another box of bits here. What do we got here? We got our Procam sticker. Oh, got a stubby older brother. There you go. Uh, um, what are they? They're our well springs. Our collets. Uh, retainers and these should be our tie bar roller lifters you feel my life off yeah you're okay 
Right, we'll do that. Right, we'll do that. Right, we'll do that. You can, but it's good at on the side. That is the... Should be just the retainers. Yeah, no one wants to see that. <laughs> I only all want to see that. That's all I want to see. Oh, they're not chrome. They're morel. Oh, that's a little bit different, isn't it? It's supposed to be chrome. Obviously made by the morels. Well, made that's by what Damien said. Didn't he? he said they're all made by the same mob with just a different a different thing on them. Different name on them. Look at that. That all beauty. Now we just need to get that block back. Slip all them in. It's gonna look sweet. And now you're our double row valve. Double valve springs. You just need some heads to put them all in yet, brother. Yeah. Next time we do an unboxing, let's get a Stanley knife <laughs> on hand. Might be go get prepared. Uh, they're big suckers. We're gonna. They are. Uh, this whole kit's to match the cam we bought. Um, so everything should be spot on. Um, where's our cam? Oh, that's just the the number of the spring, is it? It'll tell us what it is. Yeah. Beautiful. All right. There we go. Bit more for the pieces of the puzzle. Yeah. Something's arrived. I better do an unboxing for everybody. Alrighty. Here we go. Here is our whopping new cam for the 383. And it is a Crow 4175. And it's got 242, 246 duration at 50. And 623 lift at 109 load separation so pretty tough cam uh gonna have a fair bit of load to it and it's pretty big so for a roller cam we we're gonna go a little bit smaller but when i talked to timmy at our machinist asked what he thought he said yeah fuck it mate go big it'll be right put a three and a half stall on it said well i am so there it is, our beautiful brand new roller cam. Oh, let me just slide this thing back, have a look at a bit of a lobe on it. Sorry guys. There it is. Nice, big roller cam with plenty of duration and plenty of lift. All right. Righto, so there's our uh, roller block our HSV roller block that we're going to stroke to 383 is all clearanced and uh, all the oil uh, mods are done. Uh, so now next thing is that I've got to get it into Grant at uh, our machine shop, get him to bore it, hone it, deck it, and uh, we want zero deck, and then we can start putting it together. All right, that's probably due for this episode. Um, the next uh, episode on this engine will be um, uh, where we either get it into the machine shop, show you what they do, and we'll start assembling it. Alrighty. Uh, thanks for coming along and watching. Appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, jump on and subscribe. Helps us out heaps, remember. We really enjoy uh, all the feedback from everybody. Um, and that's about it. All right, we'll see you next time. Cheers. Jackson Garrigan, sponsored by Cars and Hings Restos.
Come on, boy, where is he? What's he wearing? Our blue gear, blue riding gear. Is he second or? No, it might be third. That's third. You think he's third? Come on, boy, into it. Yeah, I think that's Jack out there. Yeah, you know, mate, just hold it on. Oh, took that a bit wide. No one picked these more. Come on, Jago. In there, mate. Hold it on. Hey, Dallas. Hey, That's our boy, you know it, mate. Catch him up, come on. He's a bit tentative around the corners, isn't he? Yeah. He was saying that I think the ruts worry him in the corner. Yeah. He's staying on two wheels anyway. Come on, boy, give it all. Here he comes, here comes our sponsored rider. Yeah. That's not him. Hey. There he goes. 